Hey everyone, so the news video is going to continue as normal this week, but I do want to add a new component to the news videos, and that is community shoutouts. Um, essentially, O Prime Edits asked for me to give them a shoutout, and I am more than happy to. O Prime Edits, they do a lot of what I believe is called um, clip capture. Essentially, what they do is they do the work of an editor for them. They go through and they find a character or a scene, they clip it, and then they upload it so editors can now go and grab those clips more easily for their own videos. O-Prime Edits also does a number of music things. Um, they do a lot of comparison videos between versions of characters. It's some pretty cool stuff. I'm subscribed to O-Prime Edits. I like what they do. I especially love their Armada Blur video. Um, and the reason I want to do this is just because you guys have always been so good to me. I want to be able to share the love a little bit. And I will give precedent to anyone who has a big thing coming up. So if a lot of people request a shout out, but one person has like a big project they've been working on, they're going to be the one to get the first shout out out of that bunch. But people want to give me requests to get shout outs. I'll look at your stuff and if it feels appropriate absolutely i'll give a shout out to the channel at the beginning of the news videos going forward so o prime edits one of my favorite people to see the new stuff coming from and also always nice to have in the chat so with that let's get into the news video so we had a few sightings this week uh these are kind of interesting we're gonna have clip charms so basically bad clips you can see that they did one for Optimus, Optimus Primal, Bumblebee, Megatron, and Maximal. Um, now, I'm hesitant to call that thing in between the Maximal logo and Megatron Grimlock. Because when I look at the head design, that's Beast Wars Megatron. The sunken in eyes, the defined cheekbones, the sharper teeth. That is Beast Wars Megatron through and through. But it's Grimlock colors. And Raw Power could be either Beast Wars Megatron or Grimlock. That one kind of confuses me. That said, I really like the Optimus Primal one. I don't know why. That said, it is weird that it just says Prime. Then again, that's that's his catchphrase. That's just Prime. Okay, I don't know. Amazingly, I don't think the people who designed this are big fans of the franchise. But, you know, they're okay. <laughs> um, now this. We are finally getting sightings of the Legacy United Leader Class Galvatron from Armada. This is my favorite Galvatron design. I cannot wait to pick this guy up. I think he looks terrific. And of course, we are also getting sightings of his wave mate, that being the Leader Class Soundwave. Personally, I'm not going to go for this guy. The only character I don't have here is Buzzsaw, and I'm not spending 60 bucks on Buzzsaw. I'm sorry. That said, this is an incredible sound wave, and anyone who missed it, absolutely go for this guy because for 60 bucks you're getting the best modern version of Soundwave in my opinion and you're also getting Ravage, Buzzsaw, and Rumble to go with him. That's just too good a deal to pass up. I love the fact that this guy's out there in the wild now. Speaking of in the wild, blockies are showing up at Walmarts. People have been telling me that this had happened but now we're actually getting photo proof of it. You can see that it's just wave one going out but hey, I have a lot of people who go on my Blockies live streams. I have a lot of people asking where they can get the Blockies. Apparently, you can get them in Walmart. But here's the big thing. Notice that price, $4.97. That's cheaper than they've ever been. They usually go for $7, $8. So now, like, I even more recommend, like, yes, spend $5 and get the best blind boxes on the market right now. Not Transformers blind boxes, the best blind boxes on the market right now. They are incredible. Third Party had some good showings this week. Not a lot of things, but a lot of quality. First up, DNA Design is doing an upgrade kit for Dino King, and it amazes me. It looks like a completely different figure, but when you really think about it, it's just a lot of good but small changes. I think this looks really cool. It kind of makes me want to get Dino King now, just to slap on this upgrade kit. Also, so this company, they're called Si Yang Culture, they just did a Metroplex, and I'm going to talk about that Metroplex in the many toys of Metroplex, which is coming out later this week, but this is their second toy, just in time for that Metroplex video, they're going to be doing Scorponok, which I think he looks incredible. These guys are to scale with Legends class figures, I think they are a little bit shorter than the Titan class Scorponok, 
But even still, man, it looks really good. I especially love the claws here. And look at this thing! So, Kang Toys, right? They're doing their version of Volcanicus. If you don't know Kang Toys, they just did a Predaking, and it was wild. It's their own aesthetic. And even though some of the designs bounced off me, I was so excited to see people just doing their own thing again. So, now they're doing Dinobots, and they're sending out their version of Sludge. If you've ever listened to any of my live streams, I've said a few times, I don't like Sludge. I think Sludge is the most boring Dinobot from a design standpoint. But you're winning me over here. What's even cooler is that his arms can transform out and then you can just use the tail and the head as massive monster arms. Such a cool idea for a sludge. Really excited to see how this guy turns out. And now some official reveals. Not a lot this week, but again, some interesting stuff to talk about. Starting off kind of small, Takara Tomy is doing collector coins for the 40th anniversary. Uh, they kind of just look fine. The Starscream one looks really good. The Bumblebee one looks kind of bad. Autos and Megatron look pretty solid. But, I don't know. It's cool. It's interesting. Funko Pop might be doing Beast Wars Pops. So, there's been listings now for Primal, Megatron, Rhinox, and Black Arachnia. I'm going to be honest. Primal, Megatron, Black Arachnia. Absolutely. Those are breakout characters. I do find it kind of weird that they went with Rhinox and not, say, Dinobot, Cheetor, or Rattrap. At the same time, I'm assuming that they think they're going to be doing a Wave 2. Maybe Wave 2, you could also throw Waspinator in there. Because um, there's so many characters in Beast Wars to do. I think Black Arachnia absolutely is a Wave 1 character. She is the breakout star of Beast Wars. I will fight you over this. Um, but to have her there and not Cheetor, who is the other breakout character... I don't know, maybe they're hoping for a wave two. Even still, we'll have to wait and see how these pops turn out. Oi, Yellow Park is entering the statue game. They're going to be doing a really nice looking version of the Bumblebee movie Optimus. I really like how this guy looks. This one just breaks my heart every time I see it. So this is the 40th anniversary Leo convoy that Takara Tomy is putting out. And every time I see this toy, I always think, Oh, it's the original Leo convoy! I want that toy! And then I realize, oh no, it's the Legacy Evolution Leo Convoy. I have that toy. It kills me. Like, now you're putting it in the original box, even. Just reissue the original toy. That's what I want. <laughs> Why isn't Takara Tomy doing what I specifically want, man? Also, I just realized that this is a T-Spark toy? Which is the same thing as that crazy Rodimus they're doing next year. Huh. I guess this is technically the first T-Spark toy. There you go. Uh, this isn't a reveal, I just wanted to show it off. We're getting an in-box package look at Sentinel Prime from Studio Series. Still my favorite design out of Transformers 1, still really excited to get this boy. But we did get a Studio Series reveal this week. Devastation Optimus, coming in at the Deluxe Class price point. And I've seen a lot of people not really dig this guy, I've seen them complain about the legs, I've seen them complain about the trunk mode. Um, my opinion... I'm really excited for this. I'm more excited for this Optimus than I ever was for Commander Class 86 Optimus. One, he looks different. I love how the colors pop. I love the cell shading and the windshields. Don't get me wrong. Devastation's like one of my favorite games ever. So I'm also like very much smoking the hopium right now. But I just like how this looks. And it's Deluxe Class. Which to me... That's more impressive that you got a good-looking Optimus at Deluxe than you did at Commander. Like, yeah, of course that Optimus is better, but that Optimus is also 100 bucks. This is going to be 20 bucks, and kids are going to be able to get it and have an amazing Optimus. I'm really excited to add this guy to the collection. Speaking of, Transformers is now officially in the National Museum of Play. It is a very great honor that very few toys ever get to receive. Transformers has been trying to get in there for 40 years. We finally got in, and then I saw one picture from the first day the display was open to the public, and they had mistransformed Masterpiece Optimus Prime's legs to be too short. You know, it's fine. I just thought it was funny. Uh, I, I think it's cool. You know, admittedly, I don't understand the obsession Transformers has had with being in the National Museum of Play, but good on you. I'm glad that they're at least getting their due. And I'm pretty sure that's the end. Yep, that's the end of the news. So guys, a bit of a slow week for news, but a couple of cool things. Honestly, I think the winner of the week was probably Sludge and Devastation Optimus. 
And again, just remember, O Prime Edits making some really cool stuff over on their channel. Give them a look. And we'll do more community shoutouts just in the comments. Tell me if you'd want a shout out. I'll go look at your channel. And like I said, if it's appropriate, I will give a shout out. And past that, if you have big, big projects coming up, please let me know and I'll do my best to put a little plug at the beginning of the news videos. Uh, past that, thank you for the Mini Toys Ultra Magnus. That video did insane numbers for me. Thank you guys so much for that. Uh, I'm on Blue Sky now. Blue Sky's great. I'm having a lot of fun on Blue Sky. That's like the best social media experience I've ever had. So come check me out at Ron Bondajan over there. And finally, guys, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see what we get up to next time.